What's up, Guam? Dave Delgado here for In The Zone. With me today, members of the Guam Pacific Tennis Club. We're here to talk about the Tennis Courts Improvement Project over at the Tumunning Gym. First off, Asensio Vicente, uh, Chairman Project Lead Person. Uh, tell us about the project and what was done during the first phase of repairs at the Tennis Courts in Tumunning. The project uh, is all about reconditioning the tennis courts. It involves the... Uh, water blasting, and then repairs of the holes, patching, and then um, the final stage is gonna be repainting. The next phase will be uh, replacement of the, uh, and repair of the lights that uh, is uh, badly needed during nighttime uh, playing time. To, uh, to complete this project, we actually started this project uh, two weeks ago, and uh, we hope to finish it about four, four to six weeks time. And who has come out to help with the project? The, the club members uh, were the uh, first to, uh, you know, actually uh, gave us the idea of uh, making this uh, tennis court uh, safe and um, have a facelift. And then we reached out to the local businesses and they were able to, uh, you know, open-heartedly uh, give us some help uh, financially. Bernie Savito, founding member, past president. Tell us about the history of the tennis club and when you guys first started. The club was conceptualized in 2012. Uh, there were just a few of us then. Uh, it was founded by a doctor, Dr. Babasa, who is also a cancer survivor. Uh, we have a Saturday group then that wants to... Uh, have a regular playing time and we notice that there are other players from Palau and from uh, from Micronesia who wants to join a who join a club and we see some tourists as well who wants to play so we uh, thought about forming a club to uh, help these people play tennis and uh, play with someone whenever they wanted to play so that's how it, it came to be I uh, went ahead with the paperwork and went to Revantax and registered a nonprofit. And back in the days, the tennis courts, was it already playable or did you guys have to invest some of your time and effort into it as well? It was more playable then because the typhoons hasn't come yet. It was the two typhoons that really devastated the, the tennis courts. So we've been trying to keep it up. We've been trying to maintain it after the typhoons, putting up temporary lights and doing a lot of water blasting and cleaning. The club did a lot of things so that it could be playable. Nilda Ramirez is the president and fundraising lead person for the project. Uh, taking on a project like this definitely had to have a, a lot of help from uh, both the private and public uh, sector. Talk about the, the ways you guys were able to raise funds for the project. For this particular project, we tried to, to ask donations from private companies and we were very overwhelmed with outpouring support from personnel, from individuals, from members, from friends and members of our member, uh, friends of our members. So it's really overwhelming. A facility like that definitely helps with the community as far as physical fitness. Can you talk about just maybe how it's going to benefit not only the tennis club, but just members of the community because of um, um the situation nowadays we have the pandemic we have the virus so i think uh with uh getting involved in physical activities it will help we have to be active we have to get moving dulce rodriguez vice president assisted fundraising lead you guys have a raffle coming up tomorrow tell us about uh the raffle and um how that has helped with fundraising efforts. Yeah, we started uh, thinking of what is the, be the best way to, um, for funding for the project. And basically we, we think of an auction at the first time, but we decided not to do a raffle. And then some, some members donated like whatever, things in their household that they don't need or that can still be usable yes. or still unopened boxes during Christmas time, gifts or 
whatever it is, then we can bring, we can um, include that in the raffle, you know, and we have some people donated like, like items, like we have our grand prize is a, a small screen TV, like a flat screen TV. And then, and the rest is uh, like small items or like uh, coupons from gas, gas coupons and certificates, something like that. When and where would the raffle be held? Tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. Asensio, how important is the public and private partnership when doing a project like this? This, uh, this particular uh, relationship or ongoing uh, work with the, the community and the mayor is going to reinforce our binding relationship with the mayor as well as the community because uh, of this opportunity for the club to uh, give back something to the community and also on the mayor's support to our uh, goals and objectives on this project.